crack. Come on up. Come up. I have control. Jackpot, jackpot. Great job. A lot of lessons learned. We got three men wounded, uh, nobody mortally, but it was a lot more difficult than we thought. Uh, it was definitely a kick in the nuts. Everything we do is always outnumbered. We're always outgunned and we're always in severe conditions. I think the uh, stern climb was where the, the first part of the mission went wrong. Archangel, what happened on that? Yeah, so we had a plan. Obviously, we were gonna climb the stern. I got up to the stern, you know, reached up with my hands a few times, felt a lot of moisture up there, tried to do a couple pull-ups, and there's a high probability I could peel off, fall in the water, make a loud splash. So I, I swam over to Cash. Uh, we decided to call Flex. So we repositioned our team right on the uh, side of the ship, and we decided to go from there. That's excellent improvisation. That's, that's what we get paid the big bucks for. The operation was very successful in my mind. We had numerous situations where we had to implement flex plans or contingency plans. Uh, guys had to make decisions on the fly. Those decisions were good decisions, obviously, because nobody got killed. We hit hard, we hit fast, and we moved on. One of the positive things definitely was the psychological tricks of the skull mask. Uh, I think all of us noticed kind of a little bit of shock and awe there. We got a little maybe a second or more of just hesitation. Within Special Forces community, it doesn't matter what country you're from, you've all been through the same things, therefore it's very easy to get along. I'm learning from them all the time and they're probably learning from my background as well. Cash, you took a shot to the thigh. What happened on there? I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Before I knew anything, Frosty took him out and then we just continued on with the mission. There is no operation that happens exactly to the way you put it down. And if anybody else tells you that, they're full of shit. Nice shot, Frosty. That was one of our big concerns, the, the beehive of well over 1,000 pirates. We knew there's just going to be stuff flying in the air. That's, again, why we had the short time on target. So I thought the mission went very well. Um, obviously, there were quite a few inconsistencies that we weren't able to prepare for. I think that the team did a very good job going with the flow with that as we ran into different things. As a team, we were able to overcome those, get through the mission, and accomplish the mission very successfully. And we captured the flag. Nicely there done. There we go, for the war room. The mission went really well. My team is strong. I would take this team anywhere in time, forward or backward. Our successes we project to be unfathomable, but that comes from the confidence in the type of men that we've surrounded ourselves and the, and the history of these men and their past performances, resumes, and commitment to work. All in all, successful mission. Let's have a shot to Blackbeard. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yesterday's mission, very, very successful. Everybody did their part. That's the thing about special operations. You have to rely on the individual operator to innovate, and move around the obstacle. Everything we do is enabling us to take our disadvantage, which is in numbers, size, amount of firepower, and overleap that edge. We do that through speed, surprise, and violence of action. We are the Time Warriors.